that guys. Ready with the first print. A little nervous here. It's probably gonna fail, but had the Z all dialed in. It's manual bed leveling right. There's no probe. It's all cooled by these big 120 millimeter blower fans. So if you're not if you're new to this channel or haven't seen this printer yet, go watch my previous videos. It's called the Salaritas. But this is gonna be the first print. I'm gonna do a Voron test cube. So, um, yeah, a little nervous here. <laughs> like, I mean, I've tested everything pretty thoroughly. Everything looks pretty good. I haven't run a print yet, so if this thing breaks. You'll see it. Or it goes into my bed. So it's going to Z. Why is it printing way over there? That's weird. Wow. Actually, I got the first layer dialed in pretty good. Yeah, I did bed scroll. I'll, I'll show you how I configured it, but wow, it's, it's printing. Yeah, this is actually uh, running 120 millimeters a second, but I need to figure out why the bed is not centered. I guess I had my configures off or something, but God, my first layer looks really good. I mean, I dialed it in with a uh, with my feeler gauge at 0.1 millimeter. So I went to each corner. I created a macro where I can go back and um, adjust it all. Wow. I'm actually surprised this thing actually works right on the first shot. I mean, I did thorough testing on it. So, Bowden's working good. I'm not going to go crazy speeds. Uh, but I should pick up some speeds here once it gets the first layer down. And if everything works as planned, these 100 millimeter fans should kick in. There they go. Most of the air, I, I gotta adjust, I gotta mess with the, the fans. All right, this is actually a low speed test. I and mean, this is the first print, so. <laughs> it's crazy, kept it works. I wonder how good the coin is though. I guess I'm getting good air over here. I made this modular so I could change these out to, um, I mean, I got, there's an insane amount of air coming through here, you know? Dude, I can't believe this thing works. So many hours in this thing. Probably, I don't know, I, I, don't, I wasn't counting. I mean, so many fails and trials and... Alright, there's the Celeritas. This thing's gonna be blazing fast when I'm done with it. I mean, I don't know how good the quality's gonna be. I guess we'll find out, but. I'm excited. Yeah, I'm not gonna, I mean, I don't, I want, I'll see how well the boat holds up, you know? It is kind of, because it's pretty in the very back corner, it's at a pretty strong angle right there. But that's actually why I put that huge motor up here. It, it's, it can blow through. Might need to mess with the retraction settings too. Got the camera up there, you can see. Logitech camera. Raspberry Pi 4. Like I said, I'm probably going to have to mess with the ducting to make it so I get the perfect airflow where I want. I mean, right now it's really good in certain areas, but. That's what I'm working on. This is crazy. It's you know it's pretty exciting when you work on for something for probably a hundred hours or more to have it actually working. I mean this is just the first print, so I mean I have a lot of changes and I'm going to be trying different things, different hot ends, designing different hot ends. Um, so the goal is to make this thing the world's fastest 3D printer. So, all right. Stoked. Uh, I'll come back when it's uh, done. This thing's about the 2240s. And you can see that these drivers are a lot hotter. I mean, I know this is closer to the... The Ys are closer to the... to the, In the cooling path. But why the X is so much hotter, though? I gotta look at the current, you know, see what kind of current I have on those things. Feel the steppers. Okay, yeah, these definitely feel warmer. The X is still warmer. 
So I look at the I'm gonna look at the driver settings. I have a feeling I have the current a lot higher on this one. So when you draw more current, um, you're gonna generate more heat. That's actually one of the nice things like I said about the 2240s. You can't see those with the 5160s. I mean, they can't handle as much current as the 5160 in voltage. They can still handle 36 volt, and they crash around 1.4 amp current. So, um, yeah, I use that in my orcas. I'm not even sure if you can see that, but that's why the X's are actually running hotter. See, 1.4 amp. Uh, 1.4 amp, and the Y's are running uh, 800 uh, milliamp. So I got to maybe uh, I'm gonna step these maybe back up to one amp, but that's that's why there's a actually that makes sense why why the, the uh, X is so much more noisy than the Y. I'm so way much more power. Um, so I might step it down to 1.2 amp. They're actually not even warm yet, so that's the cool thing about those heat things. Yeah, these are the uh, Samuel Tanky, uh, the Japanese steppers. So it's going to be nice getting all this stuff broken in. You know, all the access. It's, it's brand new equipment, so nothing's broken in. So. All right, first print's done. Back, it's a little bit warm. All right, I might use the, mainly use, I guess I, guess I don't use a lot of the PEI sheets. I use glass. But, all right. Um, so let's take a look at this thing real fast in the sun. Um, obviously, it's not great. And I think I could just be cooling. Like I said, that's why I made the fan system modular. Um, what's weird is some areas are really good. The quality, like I said, right now there's, there's zero tuning. There's absolutely no tuning at all. Like the layer even looks pretty good there. The corners are horrible. I mean, you can see. Obviously, like I said, this could also be related to like my asymmetrical uh, current, you know, on the drivers. So um, I'm going to change that. I'm going to make them both 1.2 amp. Oh, I'm going to lower these down um, from 1.4 amp to 1.2 amp and increase these to 1.2 amp. Maybe I'll go 1 amp and we'll see. To, I mean, I don't want to push my, the max temp um, of a 2240 is 125 degrees Celsius. And I was running about 102 degrees. So I want to maybe bring that down to about 90. So I'm, I'm actually, I'll go down to one amp. All right, change uh, the motors down. Decided to go one amp each. Bring our print. I got to dial the coin though. I got to make sure the... Make sure we really good cooling around the part. And I'm actually gonna be, I'm stepping up the speed here and there. Eventually I'm gonna be going so fast that the frames of the camera won't even be able to pick it up. And that'll be in future videos. I, like I said, I have no tuning, so. And so I'm down from 102 degrees to 172, 74. Uh, the reason why these are cooler is because these are closer to the fan, the blower fan. Heck, I guess I can redesign it to get better ducting. But yeah, that's why it kind of gets hotter and hotter as it goes up. It's a path. Right, as I'm putting on my second cube, my uh, Z design actually works pretty good. This uh, the double limit switch. So see the adjuster screw right there, and the limit switch. So I have one of those on each side. So I can dial on the Z. Then I go back and I do a bed corner and use each of these springs right here. I have a little macro or just, you know, whatever. It's just a bed screws and clipper. Um, it puts it right above the screw and it's adjusted with my feeler gauge to 0.1 millimeter and it was dialed in right from the get-go. Like on my first print, I couldn't believe it was dialed in. Um, so my light's not that good in here. Yeah, now that I'm doing this prayer, I can start putting some of this stuff away. All right, let's see here. So you can see um, how much a difference cooling makes here. I'm trying to find the same side. There we go. Or, um, that's, where is it? 
that, I guess. I'm not sure I'm trying to get the right thing, but you can see it's just the difference in how much better this thing actually looks with the right cooling. It's probably, I mean, it'd be, maybe I guess it would make a difference, but yeah, it, because originally when I designed this, I designed it to print to, more towards the center of the bed. So I'm going to keep on bringing up the acceleration. Um, yeah, I'm going to get some lights on here. So I'm thinking I'm going to design some LEDs, some mounts. I'm just slowly bringing the speed up. I'm currently putting out some LED mounts for this thing right now. Design some, uh, I have some LED strips in here. A better view of what's going on here. So this is my third print and um, stallion acceleration settings. I'm, like I said, I'm going up further and further. I'm just looking for anything in weak spots, you know. Like I gotta tighten this belt up a little bit over here. Um, I can see them getting more and more brass rubbish right there on the uh, on the X rod. Yeah, I don't think these carbon fiber tubes are 100% straight, so they're gonna have to work themselves in a little bit too. Let's see work. I'm printing out some uh, LED mounts. So the same sort of strip lights right here on this one. I'm doing for that one just a smaller 200 millimeter. All right, so now I'm going to do a torture test because I can't stand. I don't have any lights on this thing, so I can't really see. I have to grab my flashlight. So um, doing that right now. But I want to do a large cylinder, a hollow cylinder, um, 160 millimeters. And I want to, I want to actually, I want to break in all the axis so you can see where it's kind of getting smoothed out. I don't know if you can see that. Um, like the graphite, the self-lubricating uh, bearings are, I think they're working themselves in. Let's see here. Yeah, it feels really smooth. Um, all right, so print. See that large cylinder right there? All right, it should be ready to go. Let's try it. Z, access, or no. Yeah, I'm still dialing in the clipper config too. So, yeah, light sucks, but let's see this print out again. Let's see how good my Z is. I am actually pretty surprised how well, with just a feeler gauge, I'm able to get this thing dialed in. It's a little loose on this side, it looks like. Right, so it looks like it's a little loose on this corner. I used to be really good at this long time where I could actually do it in real time. So, so it looks like maybe this, that's weird because it's, it's tight on that corner. Pretty good over here. This is just a, a brim. So I'm not, I might not play with that. I'll just let it go, maybe. So the, the point here is to really max out the the access to work in those rods, those carbon fiber rods. See, I'm going back and forth. I want to max out the full travel of this thing back and forth. And so far, so good, man. This is my what, fourth print. Three calibration cubes. And like I said, just messing with clipper and you can see that. I mean, I don't like this. It's not really light. Yeah, it's giving me way better with the way I get the LEDs. All right, now we're having some fun. I'm barely even moving this thing at all. I think I'm a few hundred millimeters a second. So now you guys can probably see how this thing's going to fly. If you're wondering about carbon fiber tubes, yes, they do work. Alright, 
so it's been a couple days. I had to go work, so I haven't had a chance to play with this, but yeah, everything looks good. The uh, print, I might do another one, the torture test, you know, like the big all the way around. But uh, look at the, I'm still getting used, I'm not used to putting on PEI. Um, hey, take a look. Yeah, I can see that. Let's see in the, in the light here. See right there? I forgot that out. So you can see the cooling, like where it's getting better cooling, but I gotta figure that out. Like I said, I've done zero tuning. So, yeah, I mean, there's a couple things I gotta adjust. So I'm gonna do a speed torture test, not right now, but I'm gonna do some lights. You know, I mean, I can't see anything, so I'm gonna, you know, design some uh, LED mounts. But uh, awesome, this thing works. Stoked about that. So now I can start figuring out, um, you know, tuning the tuning the thing. You know, figuring out what the weak points are. You know, slack, maybe a little bit of movement. I guess I might go with a longer bearing here, maybe, to get that so it doesn't move around so much. I mean, you get you have to also remember, like when you're printing, you're kind of pushing up on the bed like this. So it's not, yeah, it's, you don't really want slack in there. But even my linear rails have a little bit of play. So, um, I mean, this could also be a lip, lip, I mean, I can see there's a little movement here in these bearings here, the Igus bearings, those plastic bearings. So I might, you know, uh, get different bearings there, get like the oil impregnated bronze bearings there. Um, just trying to figure out, you know, any little issues. But yeah, the first print, it works. Stoked about that. And uh, I'm gonna keep on tuning and designing this thing and I'll keep uploading videos as I make progress. Um, might put some fancier rail covers or something like that here. Kind of just make it look, look a little fancier and nicer. More aesthetic, I guess. All right, so yeah, I'm gonna mess around with different fan tips. Like these things just pop. I can pull the fan tips off. You know, to get, you know, d d depending on what I'm doing, like the print, I might change the fan tip you know, depending on what I'm printing to get optimal cooling. But, all right, so then I'm also going to be maybe trying a um, direct drive. See if there's any difference with direct drive and boat in here. Like I already showed you in like one of my other videos that the little, um, you know, direct drive setup. I mean, you're adding a lot of weight, so I don't know. I mean, I really don't want to do that. Um, like I said, I put that huge motor up here to be able to blow the filament through here. Like, uh, there's no reason to skimp out on the on the motor back here because I can just blow filling through. Um, Alright, cool. Having fun, man. Awesome.